We had no electricity, no plumbing. And you didn't have no air conditioning. People call them the good old days, but I don't. It was hot. It would be like 80 and 90 degrees in the house. I mean, it was very, very country. No plumbing in the country. Awfully hot. You had to just cool off the best you could. When I was going to school, it wasn't, wasn't electricity. Did not have electricity when I was growing up. We had lamps. Didn't have anything but kerosene light lamps. You just could see by those little lamps that we had. If you were studying, you'd have to get close to the lamp. Of course, I didn't do all that much studying, but and if you went to your room, you'd have to carry a lamp with you. It was rough trying to see by them lamps then. Yeah. Most people, when got dog went to bed, you had to carry all your water. We carried water from the well for years before electricity came. We were not there, we were drawing water with a chain in a bucket. And so then we got, when we got the electricity. I think we burned the lights for 24 hours before we ever turned them off. Everybody, everybody was happy to get power. Ooh, man, that was something. What a difference. I mean, you, you just can't believe uh, the changes that, that came about in our lives almost instantaneously. Anyway, they didn't have anything but just one string and, and one bulb in, the, in each room. But it was so much better than what we had, you know. We thought we was uptown. Well, it was so much brighter. Show up better, the whole room show up in there. We got that refrigerator and that was really what we really all enjoyed more than we did the other. When we got electricity, that was the first supplies we got was a refrigerator. Having the first ice and, and Mama would make us ice cream in the thing. And listen to the radio, I loved the radio. You could go in and listen to the Lone Ranger. I love the Lux Radio Theater. High old silver. Well, biggest thing, everybody had, got electric pumps, they had water in the house. What a difference an electric pump made. My goodness. But the, an electric fans was what was wonderful too. And she was really proud of that electric stove and everything else. When we, when we got electricity, it relieved a whole lot of duties that we were doing before. Well, the only thing I know is that is the best thing in the world you could have. If hadn't been for REA, I don't know what the country people would have done. It's awful nice to have. It's one of the pleasures of life, I would say. <laughs> and it, was, it was a God-sent gift, because it, it was just so much better to have electricity than what we were used to. Now, now, I don't know what we'd do without electricity. And, uh, and we were just so grateful for uh, the electricity that came to us. Two thousand fourteen marks a milestone for Fairfield Electric Cooperative, and we are proud to celebrate with our members and the communities we serve. Today, the cooperative serves more than twenty-six thousand homes and businesses in Chester, Fairfield, Kershaw, Richland, and York counties. But we didn't get here overnight. In fact, only seventy-five years ago, most of this region was completely in the dark. By the 1930s, most towns had been electrified, but it was a different story for rural Americans. Farming families still used kerosene lanterns for light, wood for cooking, and water from nearby springs and wells. Then, in 1935, hope for rural electrification became a reality through President Roosevelt and the Rural Electrification Act. The act provided low-interest loans to companies willing to build power lines to unserved areas. Almost overnight, the administration was flooded with applications. One of those organizations was Fairfield Electric Cooperative. On June 8, 1939, a group of men and women gathered at the Scion Presbyterian Church in Winsboro to organize the cooperative. The cost of membership was set at $5, and volunteers went door to door taking applications for service. In just over a month, the cooperative tabulated over 800 applications. Soon thereafter, the federal funds were granted. Life was about to change for the rural residents of the Midlands, and those early pioneers are to be commended for their vision. The work to build lines and provide service soon began. It was no easy task. In those early years, holes were dug by hand and set by hand. By 1950, the cooperative maintained 834 miles of line and served more than 2,400 homes and businesses. Electricity changed the way things were done on the farm and brought light inside the home. 
During the 50s, the cooperative continued to grow and major improvements were made to the system with the construction of four new substations. This growth continued throughout the second half of the century until it exploded in the 1990s. By the turn of the century, the cooperative served more than 19,000 homes and businesses. From the very beginning, Fairfield Electric Cooperative focused on serving members with reliable power and has remained committed to the communities we serve. Today, employees look back on this history as the building blocks for where we are today. The early members that started this cooperative in 1939 were pioneers. They had a vision. They, they had lived a tough life with no electricity on the farmland. They wanted a better life and they did it and they would be commended for a great job that they did. Our employees take a lot of pride in the work that they do. You know, these people leave their house, they leave their families, and they go to work in difficult situations, and uh, it takes a special person to do that. A lot of pride. It's more like giving service than a job. I've been with Fairfield Electric uh, 34 years. Just over 32 years. I'm in my 46 year at Fairfield. Been at Fairfield Electric almost 21 years. Well, member support is, is vital and the fact that uh, the cooperative exists for its members. Our board is elected by our membership. We have an 11-person board. It's made up of men and women. Their sole interest is to do what is best for the members of Fairfield Electric Cooperative. Fairfield Electric is committed to providing reliable and safe energy, and we're always exploring new technologies to help improve on that reliability. And now we have the electronic meters that we can read and get the readings through the substations. We actually read the meter here at the office through our power line. We have a monitoring system that when a problem occurs on the distribution system, it immediately notifies our dispatcher and key personnel. It changed for the better, which is more reliable and more dependable. We're constantly working every day to improve our reliability. The men and women here are very dedicated individuals to keeping the power on. Looking towards the future, the co-op provides not only reliable power, we are a community centerpiece affecting the lives of many in the region. We have reached out into the community um, and touched the lives of people that live out there, improved the quality of life. Our biggest and best program we have right now is our prepaid program. We've been very involved in economic development. We knew we needed to do something to help our members in our service area have jobs. We are owned by the member consumers that we serve. We refund capital credits. At the end of the day, any margin is left over is allocated back to that member. We're able to offer other programs to help our members out through security. We offer security systems to members. We offer a water heater program to our members. Operation Roundup is a program where we round the power bills up and the change from that roundup goes into a trust fund. It is to help people with various things like maybe glasses or medicine. Volunteer rescue squads, fire departments. Operation Roundup has donated more than uh, $1.8 million. Makes me feel good to know that we've assisted agencies um, in their efforts to save lives through the community. With our rich history and commitment to our members, we have been proud to serve our communities. It took 75 years to get here, and we look forward to the next 75. We've had a great 75 years, but we look forward to the next 75 years in serving our membership to improve and give them a better quality of life.